The footprint of the Buddha is an imprint of Gautama Buddha's one or both feet. There are two forms, natural, as found in stone or rock, and those made artificially. Many of the natural Ones are acknowledged not to be actual footprints of the Buddha, but replicas or representations of them, which can be considered satya Buddhist relics and also an early anaconic and symbolic representation of the Buddha. <laughs> Symbolism The footprints of Buddha are along the path from anaconic to iconic which starts at symbols like the wheel and moves to statues of Buddha. These footprints are meant to remind that Buddha was present on earth and left a spiritual path to be followed. They are special as they are the only monuments which give Buddha a physical presence on earth as they are actual depression in the earth. A depression atop of Sri Padaya in Sri Lanka is among the largest and most famous footprints. The footprints of the Buddha abound throughout Asia, dating from various periods. Japanese author Motoji Niwa, Dan Yuji Er Niwa Motoji, who spent years tracking down the footprints in many Asian countries, estimates that he found more than 3,000 such footprints, among them about 300 in Japan and more than 1,000 in Sri Lanka. They often bear distinguishing marks, such as a Dharma chakra at the center of the soul, or the 32, 108 or 132 auspicious signs of the Buddha, engraved or painted on the soul. Buddhist legend holds that during his lifetime the Buddha flew to Sri Lanka and left his footprint on Sri Padaya to indicate the importance of Sri Lanka as the perpetuator of his teachings, and also left footprints in all lands where his teachings would be acknowledged. In Thailand, the most important of these, natural, Footprints embedded in rock is at Phra Futhabat in central Thailand. In China, during Tang Dynasty, the discovery of a large footprint of the Buddha in Changzhou caused Empress Wu Zetian to inaugurate a new reign name in that year, 701 CE, starting the Dazu Big Foot era. The footprint as a sculptural object has a long history stemming from the first examples made in India. These were made during the pre-Greco Buddhist phase of Buddhist art at Sanchi, Barhat, and other places in India, along with the bow tree and the Dharma Chakra. Later, the footprint making tradition became prominent in Sri Lanka, Cambodia, Burma, and Thailand. Topic: History. The veneration of the feet of gurus or deities was commonplace in ancient India, placing one's head at or under their feet being a ritual gesture declaring a hierarchy. As Satya, the Buddha's footprint was classified in a variety of ways. Some were Udesika, representational relics, and others were Parabhajika, relics of use or of contact, and occasionally Sarorika, as though they were not just footprints but the Buddha's actual feet. Some of the depictions of the footprints may signify events in the life of the Buddha, but others may have been depictions of people worshipping at footprint shrines. To clarify, a footprint of the Buddha is a concave image of his foot or feet, supposed to have been left by him on earth to purposefully mark his passage over a particular spot. The images of the Buddha's feet are convex images which represent the actual soles of his feet, with all their characteristics. Following the traditional triple division of the satya, we can assume that the first form of the image of the Buddha's feet, the concave one, is a sort of parabhajika element, since it is indissolubly connected with the Tathagata himself. The second one can be thought as an Uttasaka element, since it has been created by a devoted artist or artists to commemorate the Buddha, taking as its model a genuine footprint. But we can think of this second group, too, as a parabhajika by supposition, as accurately noted by Chuti Wangs. According to French scholar Paul Muse, the footprints were the type of magical objects which enables one to act at a distance on people related to it. Topic. See also. Petrosomatoglyph. Topic. References. Topic. Bibliography. Chikutsa, Claudio, A Mirror Reflecting the Entire World. The Pali Buddhapadamangala or Auspicious Signs on the Buddha's Feet. Critical edition with English translation. Materials for the Study of the Tripitaka, Volume 6, Lumbini International Research Institute, Bangkok and Lumbini 2011. ISBN 978 974 496 525 7. Digurni, Jacques. Buddhapada, L'Odyssee des Emprientes de Buddha, Edition Privé. 
ISBN 978-2-9542966-1-6 Digerny, Jacques Buddhapada, Following the Buddha's Footprints. Orchid Press Publishing Limited. ISBN 978-974-524-163-3 External links Triratana on the Footprints of the Buddha